and girls, welcome to the Crafty Corner. I'm Miss Lisa. We're here at the Fayette County Public Library. Today we've got a really neat craft for you. It's one that's quite simple. All you need is a plastic bag and um, a couple of the templates that I have for you. So come into the library and get up this and grab your packet. We're going to be making an underwater flashlight. It's super cool. So inside your bag, you're going to have a black piece of paper. You're going to have an underwater ocean scene, and you're going to have a flashlight. So to begin with, we are going to take our flashlight, and we are going to create some yellow beams coming out of our flashlight. Okay, And if you want to, you can color your flashlight. I'm just going to leave mine white. You don't need to watch me color a flashlight, but I think you would probably like to have a pretty colored flashlight. Once you've got those... Um, ray beams coming out of your flashlight. Go ahead and cut your flashlight out. Okay. And so we have a flashlight that you can hold in your hand and use for this craft. Okay, so now I'm just going to set that aside because we'll need that in a minute. All right, the black paper gets set aside and you have your ocean template. Now you're going to want to put it in your bag and if you'll notice it's a little bit longer than your bag. So it would be a good idea to go ahead and cut off the edges of your paper. Now if you don't like the picture that I picked out, you can just go online and print something out that is underwater an underwater scene. Now where the Ziploc zipper is, that's your bottom. Okay, so that's the edge of your picture. You're going to have to fold this up just a little bit and then slide it in and lay it out flat. Alright, so now you have your underwater picture inside your Ziploc bag. Now you are going to need Sharpie markers, not the watercolors because it would just smear. Because what we're going to do next is color on here. So I see some seaweed here. We're going to color the seaweed in green. I don't know if you boys and girls have ever been to the ocean. Sometimes that seaweed washes up on shore and you get to feel and touch it. All right, look, we have here a sand dollar. Um, maybe like a starfish. We've got some other little critters that go on the ocean floor. We have some um, water. I grabbed the blue. I thought I'd grab the brown. So if you want to make these ocean waves, okay, you can trace these lines and make ocean waves. Make the water. Make little bubbles. Okay. So what we're doing is going to be coloring on our bag today. And let's see, I'm going to grab some brown. I'm going to go ahead and color in some of the sand here at the bottom. It's always good to have a um, you know, a land at the bottom of your picture. And this brown's not real juicy. It's always best to have markers that have a lot of that ink in there. Okay. Let's see what else I have. We have some of this coral. Oh, and this marker is sort of a very faded green. Maybe we'll make this little fishy yellow. The brighter the colors you are, the more of a wow effect you're going to get here in a minute. Here we have another little fishy. We'll color him pink. Why don't I color my octopus pink too? Now you're going to want to take your time, boys and girls, and color all this fun ocean animals. If you even wanted to, you might put a little boat on the top, maybe with a little scuba diver underneath. That would be cool. Okay. So here's my octopus. I'm going to let that dry a minute, and then I'm going to draw his face in. Okay. I've got some silver here, which is a pretty cool kind of a Sharpie to use. I'm going to color in... This little dolphin or porpoise covered right over his eyes. I'm going to put that back in in a minute. Okay. Now, what about this large one? I think I'm going to sort of have to make him fanciful. Let's make him this teal color. Most dolphins are not that color. But just to show you what happens when you use bright colors with this project, I'm going to go ahead and color him in. I've got a few other little fish to color, and then I'll show you 
what we can do to make our underwater flashlight work today. All right, so I have this dark blue. I'm going to go ahead and put the eye and the mouth in. Put the eye there. Put the eyes up here. Ooh, that makes him look sort of crazy looking like. All right, let's see what else we have. We have little blowfish here. Got the snail down here. Now, if you had a thin line black marker, you would maybe be able to outline some of this. That one might look really cool. Let's go ahead. Oh, that one doesn't work. I didn't throw that one away. Now let's see if this one works. I'll color this nice seaweed a bright pink. <laughs> I suppose in some places we might have some funky colored seaweed. I'm not sure. Okay, I've got some more green here. I'm going to color this over here. So what you're going to want to do is get everything colored that you like. And I'm just about done with what I've got here. Go ahead and color over here a little bit. And I'm going to actually add some, a little bit more waves with this darker blue. To show all the water. Just sort of make some little blue marks in here so the water looks like it's really just wavy. Okay. Now. Once you get all this done, you're going to take your white paper out. And look, I really didn't even color on that at all, did I? Okay, so you're going to take your black paper, and I have cut it already to the right size, I believe I've done that. And you're going to want to fold it up a little bit, stick it in there. Might take a little doing. Okay, now you're not going to be able to see what you colored very well because you have that black paper behind it. But you're going to use your flashlight. Okay, so you're going to take your flashlight and you're going to put it in here. And look, everything just shows up. You see the green seaweed, the orange seaweed, and the starfish. And there's your dolphin. There's your octopus. Isn't that really pretty cool? So you don't have to do an underwater scene, but I thought that would be the coolest one to do. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have fun with this little flashlight, this underwater scene. Make a really cool craft. Come on into the library and pick up a packet. Thanks for watching. I've got another craft ready for you for next Wednesday, so make sure you watch again. Bye now. I'll see you soon. Oh, oh, oh.